The next operation is the amplitude scaling and we will see its effect on the fundamental time period. In the previous lecture we saw the effect of amplitude shifting on the fundamental time period and we found T0 the fundamental time period is independent of amplitude shifting. Now we will take our seventh signal and I will represent it by x sub 7 t and it is twice of x 1 t. It is twice of our original signal x 1 t which is sine 2 pi t. So x 7 t is simply twice of sine 2 pi t. And now we will find out the fundamental time period t naught. It is equal to 2 pi divided by omega naught. Omega naught is 2 pi. So we have 2 pi over 2 pi which is equal to 1 second. So 1 second is the fundamental time period of the signal which we have obtained after performing the amplitude scaling. And if you see the original signal which is x1 t, you will find t naught was 1 second. So the fundamental time period is same and we can say that we can say that t naught is independent independent of amplitude scaling we have obtained the time period following the mathematical formula now we will plot the waveform of signal x1 t and signal x7 t to find out the fundamental time period graphically we have already seen the plot of signal x1 t in the previous lecture. It is simple sine 2 pi t plot. And now we will plot the waveform of signal x7 t. You can see the orange waveform. It is the waveform of signal x7 t. And you can clearly see the difference between the amplitude of the blue waveform. The blue waveform which is the waveform of signal x1 t and the orange waveform. The amplitude is double if you compare signal x7 t with x1 t. This is because we multiplied 2 to the signal x1 t. But in case of fundamental time period there is no change. The fundamental time period in both the cases is equal to 1 second. t0 is equal to 1 second. And the fundamental time period is same because we have simply increased the amplitude of the signal by multiplying 2. And if you multiply a number which is less than 1 then the amplitude will reduce but there will be no change in the fundamental time period. So this is the important point you should remember. The fundamental time period is independent of the amplitude scaling. And we have seen why it is independent by the help of this graph. So this is all for this lecture. If you have any doubt, you may ask in the comment section.